so yesterday we just uh, look up like uh, a small thing like uh, what exactly that uh, upper form of uh, or palette and what exactly the tail end and how the model is looks like and uh, how, uh, what about that like uh, how many repositories i mean only the all we we have gone through uh, let's just uh, begin with uh, some database connections as I said, like uh, metadata, right? Uh, here we can uh, uh, have all the uh, plenty of uh, things here. Like uh, if it is uh, the file thing, like uh, delimited and all, then you can create uh, delimited uh, metadata here. That is what we created yesterday. So at the same time, uh, if you are going with the XML feed, Excel, JSON, and uh, all this stuff, we can create over here. So oh, now we can go ahead with the creation of a database connection. So as of now, I have oh, this one. Uh, my SQL has been installed in my system. So let's just uh, check out uh, DB connection or to create a DB connection. So here you will uh, once you just uh, click on next right uh, it will ask you for the DD database which uh, database you are going to connect so you will be having all the databases available whatever the database you can green plum then uh, here also you just uh, give the port name server details username scheme and all uh, since we are using mysql here just give that The connection established successfully. So after giving a username, password, and then database, particular database name, then uh, once you just uh, check the connection, it will just uh, notify you my, I mean, the connection name, whatever we have given. Connection has been established successful. So, okay, then finish. So once you establish connection, so that particular connection will be shown up here in the metadata. So again, uh, so only the thing is you just uh, connected uh, there, but you haven't uh, retried the schema of the tables. So since you uh, you in the, that uh, uh, situation, like uh, where we'll be having plenty of tables and all, right? So for each and every table, we can't establish a connection like uh, uh, while designing the tail end job. So you can't uh, just every time so each and every component, whatever, how many components you just drag drop here are the uh, database components. You can't uh, manually change uh, the schema and all. I mean, you can, but it will be a hectic like uh, every time you need to uh, provide a column name field and then you have to give the data type of that particular field and then you have to make sure that it should be correct data type otherwise uh, what will happen we will uh, catch up with uh, plenty of errors and all so in order to avoid that uh, what what is the best uh, thing is like uh, we can put these things uh, under one knee like uh, uh, one roof uh, that is where the metadata comes into picture there you can create a connection and then you can give the database names and all see in the normal flow right what will happen you need to give the everything manually here so database name you need to view
then tables you need to give table name and everything and again you need to give you have to take the control of this one how many columns are there all you need to provide so you have to do it like uh, the manual way so the best thing is like uh, uh, this is how you will do normal flow but uh, when it comes to this one right what what is the pretty thing like you just drag it down then the connection will be there so the talent in talent is uh, pretty clear like uh, which kind of uh, database you need to use which kind of component is uh, you can you can or uh, use or here you just uh, give within the bracket right tdb input actually the generic uh, component name under that you will be having uh, all the components like uh, you can create a database a different kind of databases you can uh, here uh, so it just uh, shows you like a t mysql input by default so so if you just look into this uh, just look uh, have a look on this uh, property type so since it is uh, we we dragged it from uh, uh, the connection pool so since uh, and also this is uh, 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 these uh, details are provided under the uh, repository so that is why we got it like a repository and then mysql connection the particular connection name and then the host and everything like uh, it is get uh, uh, showed up here so you no need to give any penny amount only the thing here is like uh, you need to provide the schema and all so again uh, i don't want to provide even the schema so I just want to retrieve it from here. So what I need to do is right click on this, and then just go to the retrieve. So as we like, uh, uh, this one shows up you the same thing, like uh, the percentage is nothing but uh, how we just uh, take up uh, the like character, like uh, the table name. So so what, what it will show up, all the columns, all the fields, it, all the uh, uh, tables uh, tables it will uh, uh, retrieve by default if you keep percentage or else you can give whatever like uh, uh, if you want only the source kind of you might be following a few uh, naming conversations in your database then what the best like uh, you can retrieve only those tables like SRC tables or LCT if it is a uh, dimension tables you can just take uh, you want to create a separate connection uh, for the dimension pooling then you can uh, give only the uh, dim uh, percentage so that only the dimension fields uh, dimension kind of uh, tables will comes into picture so all those uh, things you can do over here by connecting like uh, giving a new name over here so by default it is a percentage so percentage is nothing but it will take up all the tables so even you can uh, uh, import the views as well scheme of views so you just uh, i don't want a views and synonyms so just uh, since it doesn't have anything over here that i don't want less i just go ahead with the tables so just uh, provided a percentage so percentage it is just the same meaning of how we just uh, use like operator like and then percentage this uh, pattern matching function like uh, regular expression and all it is uh, uh, so if you just go to the next so it will show up again you can give filter condition over here if you want So all this, whatever the you want, you can just pick it up. And so I want all, I want to just uh, note out all these things. So I want to take all this uh, into picture, insulation. So I just selected all this and then just go to the next. Again, uh, the first like, uh, <coughs> 
here uh, you have a chance to just uh, check out uh, the schema of each and every uh, object so just see uh, if i click on this actor object what will happen uh, it will show up all the database uh, uh, all that particular uh, object that is uh, tables of fields see if you just look into the file first name and then last name and updated date and everything is just uh, scored up showed up here so just uh, the date pattern because mostly we will come up like uh, fed up with these issues like uh, data type issues and all when we if you give manually sometimes uh, 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 the data like uh, the, the length whatever we provided maybe we just uh, uh, left empty or else we have given a less amount of uh, length over there when we define uh, uh, manually so there is a much more chances when you do a manual intervention so when you are living uh, maybe that like uh, if you are having 30 or 40 columns of fields in that particular uh, table what will happen you just uh, end up with uh, giving only uh, 29 or uh, there are some cases where you need to uh, it do happen mostly with the uh, our daily loads and uh, like uh, the staging tables especially where the client will give you plenty of tables plenty of columns with those tables you know, but out of that uh, only few we know like uh, at the time of mapping only we just uh, uh, map only few uh, fields but while extracting right uh, we do extract uh, we need to extract all the fields but uh, in future we don't know what uh, what columns or what what kind of fields they required for us for them to uh, uh, go with the uh, uh, new matrix so here you just uh, look into that so everything will be showed up that is why okay then you just connect to the finish so what will happen so connection get established i mean uh, the schema of a table schemas has been taken up so suppose you want to only that uh, particular act details uh, see uh, previously we doesn't have any kind of schema over there so I just drag and drop my particular uh, tables or that so what will happen so you just check into this we'll be having this uh, like uh, what are the table schema I just drag drop that has uh, all written with the previous one so just uh, look into this the schema it's a repository and again if you go with a uh, edit schema previously we doesn't have any schema there view schema then what will happen all the columns whatever we defined over there uh, what are there in that particular uh, table let's copy it over here Uh, one second, guys. It's all for this.
yeah so i guess i'll be back so uh, here what will happen uh, like as i said the connection uh, when we just uh, after redriving the schema of that particular uh, database so all the table schema since we retrieve so if you just look into that all these fields come so again if you just drill down so you will come up like all the fields are here so that is what uh, i mean uh, it is it's pretty straightforward like if you just want to take a uh something like if you want to write all these things then you need to go with the inbuilt schema built-in schema then if you want to go with like uh, uh predefined i mean you want to keep all them into one setup like even for writing or uh, even uh, uh, retry, uh writing a, a db uh field details and all uh, you might uh, fed up with a uh, lot of time you need to spend by writing a uh, single by single column details and all uh, it's a uh, better like you should either you just uh, import the connection or a uh, table schema so it will be pretty straight or oh, it, it will be always uh, perfectly easy And again, if you want to show up all the columns, you just uh, give this not. So previously it doesn't have. Now when you just click on this case query, what Talent will do is it just uh, form up like uh, what are the fields it is having so it will uh, create a equal and sql query uh, with this all the fields whatever it has been uh, available or has been uh, put up there so that is what uh, it will do as a backend so if you just check into that uh, uh, data types and uh, the lens and everything right it was already there so you no need to give anything so out of that uh, say suppose out of these fields you want only uh, one or two fields only say suppose you want only act id first name and then last and you don't want the last updated date you want only uh, uh, these uh, first three fields then what we what you can do is like uh, you just simply make it as a built-in even if you make it convert it into a built-in since you already copied the schema right so there will be a no change in the schema it will be live for the forever until unless you just update these things in the repository point of view until unless it won't be get changed so say suppose i just wanted to delete this so want to keep only at id first name and then last name the three fields i want to since again if you just guess the schema so you will get all these things or else you can even write your own query here so query type also like uh, since it is built in only and if you go with the repository also by keeping that particular uh, uh, query in that uh, uh, repository so uh, it's, it's not required <clears throat> so since i mean we are given only three columns so what happened is like uh we'll be having only three columns is selected if you just have a look on this the properties so if you just connect on the component what are the component you get dropped on that well on the designer right so every component if you just click on that particular component you can uh, came up all these settings basic advanced 
the dynamic and view views uh, something like uh, where you can just uh, write uh, comments and also it will be shown up on the front end the connection format uh, since it is a row by row right row connectivity it is there so that's what it is so here you just uh, write uh, the functionality or what are the documentation and all you can write over here see components so if you yesterday showed you like uh, if you want to use it with a, another connection uh, like the same only you want to create a single connection and i want uh, and uh, you would like to use across all the uh, component then you can use a t mysql connection there whatever the connection like uh, the repository connections you have uh, provided you can provide that but uh, and uh, if you want to retire the schema, I mean, if you if you want to use that, you can use that. But as a schema point of view, the table schema, even you can use a particular table or here or there, like uh, DB connection. Even if you just crawl down here, uh, here also you can just uh, change it up to another. So once you change it, it has been changed. Uh, this one is. Uh, uh, repository only so again we need to get this query so you will get here uh, the latest uh, uh, sql query for this corresponding uh, schema so just scroll back to the previous one see uh, until unless you just click a guess you won't get it now i got this So you may just uh, all the better what are deleted. schema's data type db type is since i use it here component right use existing component i use it but i haven't mentioned what exactly so that is why it is showing up data the schema's db type not correct for this component the parameter component list is empty but is required so when you click on this you should give that component uh, like uh, the connection component should be there okay i just revert back then So if you want to just look into that code and all, you can just go to the code. So it will show up. Since we did uh, one or two settings again and again, right? So if you are getting this is just, uh, uh, it's, it's a warning only. It's uh, uh, not uh, about uh, the error and all. If you find like uh, any errors in these fields, then uh, uh, before running, I uh, just uh, ask, uh, always uh, prefer to just go to the code after uh, writing your, uh, I mean, after uh, designing your ETL job, just go to the code and just uh, look for like uh, the red kind of uh, lines and pictorial i mean the representation of a red over here so we didn't find any errors here so 
it's uh, it's ready to like uh, the run the job so this is uh, simply a uh, only uh, uh, the warning what uh, we previously got so no need to worry about that until unless it is an error so even if you want to if you don't want to see this just uh, i ask you like uh, you can close this simply and then reopen looks fancy when you can do close is uh, ready to run <clears throat> this check out uh, you will be having total uh, 200 records that Okay, it's a it's internal error like SSL connection error is there. So no need to warning it is just no need to worry about that. And uh, here again uh, the T log row it is very powerful yesterday also said it in this so normally just uh, show you how you want to like uh, pass that out so it will be very much pretty useful at the time of uh, debugging at the time of uh, building a new kind of logic sometimes uh, i mean you uh, you have been asked to build a few kind of logics on few fields then on that time uh, before like uh, you doesn't have uh, uh, access to uh, load into that particular tables until unless it moves to the production then on that time or else if you just uh, want to uh, re-verify whether it is working fine or not then on those cases you just go with the t-log row and I always ask uh, the people to use t-log row it is a debugging because when you uh, when even if you are right, like uh, when you are doing A plus B, C equal to A plus B, even for the small kind of things, first you just, it's uh, even for the simple case statements also, you should prefer using T log row so that what will happen, it will be pretty very much easier for you to know what exactly it is you are expecting. You just pull the job and then pull it back to the T log row then check out yeah this is what i'm getting let me just check out you just uh, trim out a few fields then trim uh, apply a few filter condition and then case by case you can go ahead so it is a very powerful thing so so if you want to print the headers you can create print over there in front of each output row this is a uh, fields everything will be what have been a vertical fashion schema name mm, i mean how you want to look like like uh, how it has to be get display on your uh, console those are the things here you just uh, need to click or else you can keep it away or else if you want to show up like uh, what a uh, the data everything in the table format you can just uh, click on this table view so what will happen it just uh, show you like uh, the table see
so you want to use like uh, i want to just load the data into my db then just go with the db right and uh, i want to use the same database but uh, the table name might be different so in that cases what i need to do can i go with uh, table schema or uh, only connection so it should be a connection right so just drag this down drag down so automatically everything will be there since i didn't use the schema on this so i won't get anything So I need to just uh, map these two. That two is either I can give it directly. So it is a straightforward. So we need some component over there uh, to join these two. And then I want few kind of manipulations on my uh, uh oh fields as well i need to use uh, some sort of uh, uh cleansing operation on my source data so what i need to do is i need some sort of component which just uh, give you uh, a chance to build your uh, uh, expressions of the logic business logics and uh, and also you want to just uh, uh, gives a sort of uh, like uh, you want to uh, create your own uh, kind of uh, fields you need to add up few fields and all so if i give directly will it happen it shouldn't i mean i won't get like i can't able to add uh, the columns so that i do add but the problem is like it won't get populated so what are the information I'm retrieving from the source? Those information only will go to the target. So I need uh, some sort of expression editor or something so that uh, I need a some sort of space where I can write my uh, the business logic where I can build my business logic where I can uh, 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 add up a new kind of fields and all and change a few items on the existing fields those time what i can do is uh, we'll be having tlns provided as an expression kind of editor we follow up with the informatic that we go with we'll be having expression uh, transformation in the same way we'll be having here uh, the tmap component so it is uh, used to join the uh, 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 it, it, it will be uh, performed like an expression as well as uh, you can write a, a few expression and then you can do some sort of uh, terms, uh, uh, business logic so that you can build out there you can add a few fields and you can uh, add it like uh, you can transform that uh, input to multiple kind of uh, 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 components output components and uh, you can join uh, much more thing is like you can join uh, uh, one or more uh, flows or here so that is like uh, the lookup transformation also it, it just uh, work as a lookup as we uh, basically as a background of etl and bi we came across those sort of uh, things at the lookup lookups right uh, when we just uh, looking up the data whether it is available or not we mainly called in a sql format like uh, the joining so all those uh, things we can do with this uh, team map transformation team map component just work on this so in spite of giving to this uh, uh, target uh, system i can use uh, one transformation called a team map then it is only a row kind of connectivity it does not have any iteration does not have a component okay these things so just you have to give that give an output name so 
of do you want to get the schema of the target component uh, go, uh, since we already created like we already once uh, we already like uh, uh, connected directly from t mysql input to the t mysql output directly so on that time what happened is uh, like all the fields whatever there in the from source system it get transferred it get copy to the target so uh, when i just connect it it's just asking me do you want me to just copy it? it's not giving a chance as like do you want to take a chance to just drag and drop your required fields or uh, already there are a few fields are available in the target uh, mysql output do you want us to copy or not it's just asking us if you want you can okay just say yes that is why it has shown like uh, the error since when there is a schema kind of issues and uh, some other warnings are there it's not a error it's only a warning if you even click a no what will happen it won't like uh, you won't get all these fields let me show you just delete this component yes go with the team map so i said no so what what it will do just as way man you just add yourself so that is why it is showing you here team map schema up to has no column defined please check it oh then it does not have what we can do is like just control and a so just copied all these fields just drag this down drag top so you can propagate the changes yes So I want the names of uh, actors uh, which is adding with uh, some C. So default thing is there. So we need to insert that. Since we does not have, let's run it. Just uh, look into the settings of this. I'm just going to run it straight forward. Only the thing is I want it. Just look on the settings uh, first. So I kept action on table is default. So action on data is inside. So there is a no table. So it should return an error stating there is a no table. Such actor underscore TRG. fields went up right so just check out the error itself basically doctor uh, does not exist so it will show you warning and again 
it show you warning but it won't like uh, it won't kill the job so what i want is like i want to just return an error on this die on error just die this i don't want to even execute when you just uh, uh, when there is an error in this uh, particular uh, i mean when you are running the job right when you uh, come up with an error then just uh, die that so run it again so it just shows us so if you just look into this again it will give you proper clear description what exactly is happening so exception in the component the db output one sql extraction then batch update exception the table does not exist and then blah 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 all these are just uh, the java kind of errors the even for a small error or errors also we just uh, just to show you a lot of things over here sql error java so don't bother about this uh, plenty of con uh, lines and all what just actually matters to us is first two digits i mean first two lines you need to check so after that uh, what you need to do is uh, you just have to look here even if you are unable to trace out that uh, particular error, then you can simply just go to that particular uh, code number in the line by checking that. So that will come in the likes. So all these errors caused by these three items are made. One, two. And then this is caused by SQL extraction, uh, SQL syntax error exception table does not exist. So again, drop and create. Will it work? It should not because it will drop only if it exists. Otherwise, it won't, right? So, drop table if exist and then create. If exist, then only it will drop. Otherwise, just it will simply create. So we just go with the create table. So total 13 records there. Acta underscore TRG. Just check out. So just look into this. So you got all these fields so the which is having stats with me. Total 13 for records we got. So we got 13. Today, so far, we discussed about uh, creating a database connection and uh, how we can just retrieve the schema of a tables, what it we uh, should not use, and what sort of things, and all. And again, even we can go with the uh, yeah, let me just go with the connection of this as well. So 
So if you just look into this, so you have the connection on the OK. Then again, use an existing connection. So there is uh, no need of uh, writing, like uh, showing up what uh, kind of connection, like uh, all the fields and all, there is uh, no need of uh, simply you just create the TV connection one. Then you will see, just use this connection. Put that in. So again, so again, I'm just running it. It should go with again 13 more records so total will get uh, 26 okay yeah got it so we just uh given a t mongo like uh, t uh, db connections right we established connection but uh, what happened is we insert the data but here is the thing is like we, we are not committing it also because within that right we are not committed so even if you just go to the db if you give a commit then also it's not working so then close the connection or else you can just uh, use some t close connection got it right this is how it will work so today we just uh, discussed uh, pretty much scenarios like uh, uh, establishing a connection, uh, I mean creating a database uh, metadata under that connectivity and all. And then we came across uh, how to create a DB connection and also uh, we we gone like uh, what is uh, users of uh, using a DB connection there in spite of uh, uh, uh giving it a component by component connection and also we just check it out uh, how we are just uh, writing like uh, how we are uh, creating a table schema as well and uh, how we are retrieving the uh, fields uh, from there and uh, how and also we just check out like uh, how we can give it to connection uh, how we can inspire without using that uh, 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 mysql connection in the table by table component by component we are just using at the single time that particular we are opening the connection and then after opening the connection we are using uh, those connections in the cross the components and also we just uh, check out like uh, the commit intervals so uh, few, I mean, these cases uh, we check it and also we just try down a small expression like uh, the filter condition in the 
tmap and also we just uh, the tmap right uh, we can even write uh, a small uh, date function also Here it is. So here so I want the current date. So I just wanted to drop the table and then recreate since it does not have the column in the manage target system. So just create a select star from target. So I just wanted to drop the particular table and then recreate it since I added one more field order. It should be there. It should come up like the created it. So I just look into that. The server date whatever it is just uh, get pasted and also we came across like uh, the multiple scenarios like the filter condition we can give over there so here we can give the filter condition and then we can uh you you can even pass out uh, what are the required fields you want out of uh, 10 or 15 fields you want only two or three fields you can pass for that and then you can uh, write your own functions here uh depends upon your business logic and all you can go ahead and you can build all that and uh we just uh, come up like uh, what do we if uh we, we came up uh three kind of scenarios like uh uh giving uh connection details directly in the components and uh copying i mean uh, already predefined connections uh, uh metadata connections we use it and then we execute the jobs and uh, uh we have uh, created a table schema so that we can retrieve the uh, schema of all the tables uh, uh instead of for uh, writing uh field names one by one so which will be a hectic us and we executed then we get the schema and then we we transform that to the uh, other table or the case same schema if you want to transform to the different schema only the thing is you need to change the database details here that's it then we have uh, checked on how we are creating a table like if you put a default and then if you execute it if the table exists then only the data get loaded and if the job is executing but you are not getting any kind of result in the system like in your table then there will be a small option there like a die on error which is by default it will just uh, disabled so we enabled it and we draw that particular table and then we re-execute it and uh, out of 200 uh, source records we wanted only uh, pretty like only 12 or 13 records so i mean few records we need uh, the actors whose uh, name starts with uh, a the simple java component we can use here uh, in the expression and filter condition so that only few records pass through that and again we added one more field so we wanted uh, the date as well so we kept it and uh, we even check it out like uh, the commit of that particular one so what happened again we will get 13 more so uh, the time is something like eight five in total should get okay drop and create right so just drop the table and then execute it 
that is why we are getting only 13 records even if you execute uh, twice so any questions uh, guys tarun and uh, subhash no hamid subhash yeah yeah no, no, not from my side yeah okay good so uh, you guys are clear with I mean what uh, we had discussed today yeah 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 okay sounds good so i mean uh, we discussed it like uh, the connections creations and then the uh, few kind of scenarios as i said like as you said i i think you are using uh, tarun you are using this uh, db connections only right uh yeah i actually checked out today my project uh, so there are some uh, metadata jobs directly so we have few like a uh, what is it metadata is uh, maintained like a uh, schemas columns and tables like uh, multiple mm -hmm. layers so uh -huh. they have some jobs I, mm -hmm. but i searched them like i didn't find them in any project but, uh, but also they are using uh, from property file like a um, oracle okay. Like, okay. Oracle input mm -hmm. those their components. They're also using okay. those. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And for logging, uh, yeah, like I told, uh, it's just a P Java row, and uh, we're just using a system dot print. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Even you, if you want to just uh, look into this, uh, I mean, how you are just uh, how many records are there? Yeah. 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 Just the pjava and then you can print there how many records has been processed yeah for everything uh, for logging we are just using the system okay. okay. this one yeah yeah, yeah system dot out dot print yeah mm -hmm. print is doing something so what you can yeah. do it will uh, print out all that console yeah, information yeah. yeah so that will be easy for us to debug even you can just uh, uh pass or yeah, and sometimes uh, so if they if they believe like it is going to be a bigger message i think they're limiting it to like first few 10 lines or something like that <laughs> yes or yes just to be brought up like uh, the same case right uh there yeah, are yeah, 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 yeah. yeah same thing yeah yeah like what we saw yeah if you just so create printing out everything yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it, got it. So, yeah. So tomorrow we can discuss a few more things, uh, like other DBs, and also even we can go ahead with the joining of a, a file and then table, so that we can just uh, get up slowly with the further round. Hmm? Yeah. As of now, it's fine, right? Yeah, fine. Because just covering each and every component along with the basic things, what exactly we just came across and what we will face a few issues and all. So, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, man. Shall we close the session for the day? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, guys. Bye.